Hi there everyone, Life DIY Josie here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is Thrifty Thursday when I do a throwback of one low budget idea every Thursday. I have a couple of iterations for waste basket storage table for your home. Here are the list of items you will use for this first project. For the first style I'm doing, I am going to embellish it in a patriotic style so you can use this for entertaining during the 4th of July or even Veterans or Memorial Day. First, I'm going to be attaching the metal wreath form on top of the opening of one of the waste baskets. I'm positioning the wreath form in a way that the back part is the one that is facing up so that I can catch this metal tray, the pizza tray that I'm going to be putting as the top of my table, like so. Doing so will allow me to catch it or prevent it from falling. It will act as a stopper for the tray so that even if it gets moved or dislodged, it will not fall off the top. To connect my reed form to the opening of my wastebasket, I will be using zip ties and I will align each zip tie to the demarcations that you see there on the reed form, those lines. So to make it easier where I'm going to be putting the zip ties because I do not want to put too many zip ties so I'm just going to put as many as those demarcations are. I normally use a different color of zip tie for contrast, especially to benefit our friends who have vision impairment. Unfortunately, when I filmed this, I was using black so that to make it easier for me, but you can definitely use any color, even white. And then you can just use probably a pencil pen or a marker that is color black, and then you can just use that or even spray paint it black. But right now, as you can see, I'm using black zip ties. Since the opening of the wastebasket and the opening of the wreath form do not quite exactly align, I had to make a little bit of adjustments. I'm trying to align the opening or the mouth of the wastebasket to the opening of the wreath form because they don't exactly align. So I'm just using the zip ties to kind of align them. You can actually bend them so if you notice i've been kind of tying them up next to this so that's just the amount of ties i'm going to use just kind of bend it and it's not going to show up anyway because your tray is going to be on top i use a wire cutter to cut this so that's that put it upside down now what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to work on this upside down so it's more stable that way and then tying the two together the bottom of each waste basket I'm tying them together with zip ties okay and I'm gonna go around and do it I'd like to point out that I lined up first the two baskets where the seams are I don't know if you will see it here but I'll show it to you later I lined them up there and then tied up my first zip tie there. But it's not really a big deal because it's really not that noticeable. But if you want a cleaner finish, you want to line up the seams of those two baskets. So I only use six and as tight as possible. I don't know if you could see it. They're there, All right? So now I'm gonna cut them again. So here I connected the darker portion where there's a seam. I don't know if you could see it. Okay, so I'm just going to put this upside down and boom. that's the bottom that's the top okay so now I'm going to be embellishing the middle part I mean you can leave it like this it really looks clean but I want to make this in a 
patriotic theme. So I'm just gonna use this rope center portion here. Make them even, same length. And then I'm gonna tie it where uh, the back would be the seam, okay? And this will be the front. This is the one with the bow. Let's do a knot. You don't have to decorate. You can use this plain and it's even better and it's simpler. But again, I was creating this DIY during the Independence Day holiday. Okay, now, so that this doesn't get unraveled, you know, sometimes if you have kids, you know, have visitors with kids, they'll probably want to play with this and unravel this, right? So that's when your glue gun comes in handy. Kind of hold it in place in this portion here. Just dab a bit of glue. Make sure that it's not visible. So yeah, just to keep it in place. And then put some glue around so that it doesn't kind of slide down when uh, when you're holding it, right? So I'm just kind of putting some glue. And, and the best place is where your zip ties are connected so that you can just kind of like connect it there see so where the bumps are all right so that's it for this just use my hot glue on this one just cutting this plastic this is made of foam with my hot glue Maybe here, more center. Okay, so that's it. It's my 4th of July theme. So now, so I'm just going to be using, this is optional, an old flag. If we use it one event. It's made of paper. So just trim this side here. So just cut it evenly. Dollar Tree also sells Mod Podge. And I got this at the Dollar Tree. They have them in glossy, luster, and matte finish. I'm going to do the glossy one. Maybe just apply this in here. So I'm just applying Mod Podge onto the pan where I'm going to be attaching the flag. And then once I attach the flag, I am also applying Mod Podge on top of the flag and the remaining portions of the pan. And maybe apply a lot of coats if you want it to be really, really protected. But I'm just going to do one coat. Just apply it everywhere. Yeah. Okay, and then let it dry. Decided to cover the second pan with contact paper. Oh, I got this at the Dollar Tree as well. Love this style a lot. So I'm just gonna use this also on top. So if it's not the 4th of July, I mean, the, that's the reason why it's good to use hot glue. You can just remove this and then adorn it with, let's say, black ribbon or that nautical rope and then just use this outdoors so you can change this and all year round and decorate it for the season so here's the finished project I like how it turned out and here's the flag it dried up clear as I said earlier Mod Podge dries clear so it's protected it's kind of like acting like a lacquer so that if we put drinks there and it got spilled it's not gonna be destroyed so anyway, I like that this is functional and like I said, you can decorate the pans and maybe stack up multiple pans, maybe up to three or four pans. So here it is, what it looks like with the black and white contact paper. So if it's not 4th of July, this is how you can adorn it. So this is how I picture this being used during any patriotic day theme, whether it's 4th of July or Independence Day 
Memorial Day, Veterans Day, even Election Day or Inauguration Day, you can use this. So you can serve your peanuts, your drinks, and I have the theme of red, white, and blue here to be more patriotic. So this is more of a functional uh, so storage. It's not just a table, but look, I can put some snacks inside the basket. So I will show you the iteration and where you can put another container, those solid plastic waste baskets that they also sell at Dollar Tree, where you can also put your cold drinks or the canned drinks. I like how sturdy it is, even though it's lightweight, and you can use this to entertain outdoors or even indoors. So imagine this in your living room. If you do not have enough space for a table or a side table, you can use this because this is a space saver. From the pizza tray, I'm also trying to reuse and recycle. So for example, this old microwave tray, and uh, what I like about this one, it is a thicker type of material, although it's breakable, but it's heavier. So it will hold this table down and it will make it more stable. So I like the fact that you can reuse items. And even if your microwave isn't broken, you could probably borrow it for a while if you're not using it, just to use it as a tabletop. So that's a great idea as well. Another item that you can use for the top is this charger. They sell different styles of chargers at Dollar Tree and they come in different colors. So this one is in the silver color. I've seen them in pearl white, in gold, in copper color or bronze. So the possibilities are endless. And even during the holidays, they sometimes sell those red and green. Another Dollar Tree item that I like a lot, this one is a serving tray that they sell at the party section of Dollar Tree. And I like this because it is see-through. It is made of acrylic. And you can actually even double up if you want to put this uh, pizza tray at the bottom or even on top of it. If you can compare the size, this acrylic one looks like glass and it is actually just the exact size or the circumference or the diameter of the reed form. So what I am going to do is use that to decorate the top of this other one that I have already assembled in similar fashion. Here's the list of materials for the second version of this side storage table. I used a Rust-Oleum spray paint that I purchased at Walmart for a little over three dollars. If this is a good one, it's a good buy. It also bonds with plastic. So I picked the metallic bright gold and I like that this one you can spray it at any angle and it's easy to use. So again it's a Rust-Oleum product. So it's for less than four dollars you can get this and it goes a long way. Let me just show you how I'm gonna embellish this and glam it a little bit. So, I am okay with leaving it like this. You know, there's a seam, but then I noticed that there's some unevenness, okay? And even some more, a little bit more black there. I'm just gonna use this bling wrap or bling ribbons. This is the diamond wrap that they sell at the Dollar Tree as well. Comes in nine feet and you know, I'm just gonna be hot gluing it around. Now, if you wanna use silver to make a two-tone, you can use that too, but I prefer gold. Once again, I'll be using my hot glue to connect or attach this bling wrap or ribbon around to cover the seams. If you wanna use some gems, you can add them. Um, I'm not, I kinda like the kinda cleaner look. Just remove some of the webs. So here it is in one of the corners of our dining room area and I like it. <laughs> I propped it up with some of our items that has a little bit of bling in it. And I used the charger, the plate charger from the Dollar Tree. I kind of like seeing some exposed wires from the reed form and I think that's lovely. I love it. If you don't want to put the bling, you don't have to. Because it's pretty as it is, make sure that there's no visible gap that is going to be bothering you when you see it. Now let me just show it to you with a silver charger, which is a contrast to the gold. 
And you know how even on your jewelry, when you're wearing them, you can wear silver tone or platinum tone. It's like a silver kind of color or white gold with yellow gold or even rose gold. I like the contrast too. And the suggestion for this is if you're embellishing this portion here in the middle, maybe use the silver color bling wrap and then maybe put a gem that's silver. Yeah, the part's gonna be really glammy. <laughs> okay, so this is the setup when you have the clear tray that the Dollar Tree sells. And to be honest, if you ask me of all three setup, this one is my favorite. The diamond pattern showing on clear and I can still see through inside. I use three ramekins, identical ramekins because I like those that teal color or turquoise the ramekins I got at Ross and I believe they were like it's not $3.99 it's $4.99 a set and then I only use Dollar Tree flowers here. I use also the candlesticks from the Dollar Tree. And what I like about this one, look at what I placed underneath is the fairy lights, the Dollar Tree sales pack. Got mine from, I believe, TJ Maxx for like $6.99 or $7. It has 40 bulbs. Uh, the Dollar Tree or the Target Dollar Spot, I think they only have 10 bulbs. Look how dramatic. And then I got that gold votive holder with the faux LED light from the Dollar Tree as well. Or you can add at the bottom also some extra fairy lights, but I kind of like it this way. I like how festive it is, and it is also kind of a theme that you can use for winter if you want to decorate for the holidays as well. Add more fairy lights, maybe even some holiday decorations. Put some ornaments inside the baskets, some on the bottom, some at the top, and as well on top of the table. Uh, tray and also you can probably use some pendants that you can hang the crystal pendants would look nice if you can hang them around the perimeter especially because there are already built-in holes from the waste baskets so I like this a lot and I like the other version too so let me know in the comment section which one is your favorite so I hope you enjoyed this video everyone and I'll see you again next week for another thrifty Thursday bye